It is, but it's the my voice is not as worth much for dialogue now. I mean, we, we, we I'll do some of it. Evil Ash. <coughs> Dialogue. Take one. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 I'll try a full one. So I'll, I'll just do it any time? Yes, please. Uh, no offense, Professor, but how do I put this? You're just a big, useless ghost head. Uh, no offense, Professor, but how do I put this? You're just a big, useless ghost head. We'll go to the next one here. <clears throat> you know, I'll bet you'd be some kind of knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your yams. You know, I'll bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your tatas. <coughs> How insensitive. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, you can't believe you just got your ass kicked by a one-handed nut job? What's that? Oh, you think I'm your daddy. I'm your mother. What's that? You can't believe you just got your ass kicked by a one-handed nut job. Oh, what's that? Oh, you think I'm your daddy. <clears throat> I'll go to this one here. We lost, we've lost battery on the, uh, on the uh, wireless. wireless, but you still got feed in front of Mike? The, the other feed is so good that I'm not really too concerned with it. The, the lab lives more or less just back up in the... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. right. Okay. So let's just get it. Going. Professor, if I go puppet master on bacon bit here, will I be able to shut his stinking pie hole? Professor, 
If I go puppet master on Bacon Bit here, will I be able to shut his stinking pie hole? Hmm. <laughs> this is how we record sound. A little bit here, a little bit there. Let me stop for an hour in between lines. Take a nap, eat a sandwich, whatever. Here's a line I'd like to do. <laughs> Repair breaches, got it. 15 minute break. <laughs> That's sound recording. Come on, Bruce. Sean Connery. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sean Connery. Of course you are. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, now, what are we doing? Now we're doing the same thing, only. Uh, he's, with the handheld. He's hand Why do they call you out? You guys ready? All right, guys, you ready? Here we go. Uh, no offense, Professor, but how do I put this? You're just a big, useless ghost hen. No offense, Professor, but how do I put this? You're just a big, useless ghost head. Bruce, can we get you to hold the paper a little lower? Sure. You know... I bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your yams. You know, I'll bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your yams. He's a pig. Ash is a pig. I don't try and hide it anymore. Ash is what he is. <coughs> if you don't like him, you can kiss my ash. What was that? You can't believe you just got your ass kicked by a one-handed nut job? What? Oh, you think I'm your daddy? Huh. What was that? You can't believe you just got your ass kicked by a one-handed nut job? What? Oh, you think I'm your daddy? Professor. If I go puppet master on bacon bit here, will I be able to shut his stinking pie hole? Ash has some anger issues. Professor, if I go puppet master on bacon bit here, will I be able to shut his stinking pie hole? <laughs> See, sometimes you do a take and it just doesn't sound right. They edit that out. Like the one I just did. Professor, If I go puppet master on bacon bit, will I be able to shut his stinking pie hole? That's the one. 15 minute break. <laughs> Camera's rolling. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, it, uh, 25th anniversary of uh, the Evil Dead franchise this year. Are there any <laughs> plans for the cast or crew? Well, since the uh, the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead is coming up, which is shocking and horrifying at the same time, beautiful yet horrifying, uh, the plan is to attempt some form of documentary of, like, where are they now? So there's, I think, going to be some fun clips of some of the actresses who really were the scream queens. They're, so they're soccer moms now. So, you know, Ellen Sandweiss, who was raped by a tree, uh, <laughs> she's her kids are... You know, regular old kids going to school. So it, I think it'd be kind of fun to juxtapose what's happening now. Me, I'm doing the same damn thing. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, can you get the kids over here? We are so uncomfortable in the show. Why? I'm here. I'm here in a set. It looked too yeah. too sterile it's otherwise. Just the white part of it showing. So if yeah. You well, I don't know. Watch. We can do this. We can get more in the shot. We can go like that. That way. So that I'm here... If you see it referenced, right. yeah, a little better, sure. <coughs> you want to do that one over again? No. no. <laughs> okay. We'll just roll the audio. Hell yeah. Like a soccer It's team. a great shot. Yeah, soccer moms. Millie Van. Yeah. Uh, most of horror's heroes, like Jason, Freddy, Leatherface, are villains. How is Ash different from these characters? Ash being the only hero in horror. It's kind of the fundamental difference between 
the Evil Dead series and, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th that there's only one good guy, and that's Ash. All the other heroes who have endured for some reason are the bad guys, so maybe it's time for Ash to kick their little butts. Go that. do a little franchise hopping. Call out Roger Corman. I can buy you. Uh, do you feel the Evil Dead games help introduce the films to a new audience? What's fun with the new technology with these video games, um, they're becoming more like movies is my theory. So I think they would naturally bring audiences that are just gamers who didn't even know about the Evil Dead game. They hopefully will have heard that there's this cool game, this cool zombie kicking game, and then maybe they'll go back to the movies. Or maybe the movies have turned them on to the video games. It's a vicious circle, but I think it works somehow. <clears throat> uh, have you seen anything about this game? I know enough about this game to know that it will be exciting and terrifying. How's that? How's that for a, a load of no, bull? I was going to ask you something specific, but, it, but... No, go for it. I haven't... Well, no, it's, it's, it, uh, it says, uh, what are you excited about? What's, what's new mm. to this okay. the Evil Dead uh, universe by way of this yeah. game? Like Sam, things like that. Um, the interesting thing, like, like movies, video games are different with each one that you do. This will be the third one now, the third Evil Dead game. And I think by all accounts, there's no reason to think that it wouldn't be the best of all the games because technology is always changing and it's always getting better. It's never getting worse. So the imagery will never get crappier. It'll only get better. The mechanics will only get better. They'll simplify, streamline, figure out what was clunky with the first two games. Funny thing is, I did a film with Matthew Perry called Serving Sarah, the hilarious Serving Sarah. And uh, we were walking to the set and he goes, you know, that Evil Dead game sucks. I went, oh, pfft. wait a second. First of all, I, stop right there. I didn't even know you played this game. He goes, yeah, I got the game. And so I keep talking. And I go, so did you get all the way through the game? He goes, well, no. I went, well, that's interesting, Matthew. Maybe it's not the game that sucks. Maybe you suck. And he went into rehab the next day. <laughs> so... These games are very powerful. <laughs> so, it, it, getting back to the technology thing, that obviously anything new that'll come along, it's, it, be, it's, it behooves all of us to use it, use the new technology. I've even done a video game, uh, a voice for a video game that never came out because by the time we were done, it was a completely outmoded platform. They were like, ah, we don't do that anymore, bye. I went, <laughs> well, that was a waste of recording. But you just do what you can. So hopefully this one will be groovalicious. Absolutely. It's ass and balls. Uh, <clears throat> you've done voiceover for a lot of video games. How is doing voiceover for video games different from regular voiceover? <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> it's interesting. Regular voiceover sessions, you show up, you do your thing, next on Fox, you know, and then you're out of there. With video games, it's weird because you have to record extra stuff that the gamer might never even do. Like if he just goes up to a window and goes Eventually, you know, Ash will say, there's nothing there. You know, so <laughs> you usually get a script about that thick for video games because you have to be electrocuted, you have to, by death by strangulation, you fall off a cliff. So you have to record all the ways that you would die in the event that you would die that way. So there's a lot stored up. So if you ever want to hear the really fun stuff with these video games, just go into a corner and do something stupid for about 10 minutes, and you'll get yelled at. <laughs> As you should be. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're doing your voiceover sessions from your current hometown of Massapequa. Whatever. Well, I'll give the address, too. Yeah, Tell thanks. us a little about the town. How is it different or the same from growing up in Michigan, from Los Angeles even? Well, the beauty of technology is that it seems like it's easier to get stuff in any town. And I don't want to just say that the, my little town of, of Medford in Jacksonville in southern Oregon, you wouldn't really think of it as a production center. Much like when I grew up in Detroit, they didn't really make movies there, but they did do a lot of commercials. So anywhere they do commercials, if you think of it, everybody's got to do commercials. Hi, right, come on down to Crater Lake Dodge. You know, click here, come on. 
you know, it's the same old deal, guy with a funny hat. They always have that. So fortunately, there's there's good recording facilities and, and fine camera crews to show up and record things. So that's a nice thing. It allows yahoos like me to live in the boonies. <laughs> now I get to phone it in. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh. But, you know, the, the thing is about these games is that you exist inside some guy's computer anyway. What's the difference where you record it? As long as it's scary. Uh, you do a lot of projects in the Oregon community, mm. including an environmental documentary. Oh, my God. Timber industry. <laughs> Where'd you go with that? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's fun to use what you've learned as a filmmaker to do other subjects. I've done plenty of cheese ball horror films and things like that. And my wife and I decided to do a documentary just about things that have to do with, I don't know, reality. <laughs> so we decided to do a documentary about public land use. Like, what, what should we do with it? Trying not to take sides. And it's been very educational to get into the community. And this is where you really meet your neighbor. You know, you go sit down with the unemployed logger and have him read a poem about shutting the mill down. That's when you go, wow, this isn't Evil Dead anymore. You know, it's the real stuff. And, um, and we got really good cooperation because we talked to everybody, uh, both environmental side, the bureaucrats. And now we've amassed a huge amount of footage and we're slowly cooking it all down. So, but it's the same process, same filming process. You're just asking different questions. <clears throat> uh, outside of video games, tell us about some of your other projects. Man with a Screaming Brain. Mm. The uh, Spider-Man appearances, mm -hmm. folks, folks tours. Mm. Feel free to self-promote. I see. Yes, I see that. Yes. Uh, well, there's a couple things coming up. Uh, I uh, I wrote a book a, a couple years ago, and it did well enough to write another book. That's kind of how it works. And so this next book is called Make Love to Bruce Campbell Way, and uh, it's fiction, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> it will not be a graphic depiction of sex. Uh, and then I, uh, I, I finally going to direct my first film, a tender love story called Man with the Screaming Brain. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, about a businessman who winds up being a guinea pig for a horrible experiment over in uh, Europe. So we're going to shoot that in Bulgaria. That's where they shoot movies now. Because New Zealand is full. They're done. So now we're in Bulgaria. We'll be in Bratislava next. I don't know. And in your backyard after that. Uh, and then uh, what else is happening? And oh, there's that exciting new Evil Dead game too. Oh, you already know that. Sorry. <clears throat> that's all the self-promotion I want to do. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. That's it. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll let you phrase the question. Anything? Uh, so this game introduces a brand new character, Sam, which doesn't appear in any of the other uh, games or mil movies before. Right. Uh, with this particular game, we have the introduction of a new character, Sam. And he's a little runt, and he's a demon. He's a deadite. So, obviously, Ash and Sam don't really see eye to eye, because Ash is four feet taller. Uh, but uh, philosophically, they don't either, because one is dead and one is alive. But uh, Sam is pretty handy, because you can get that witty banter going. The good cop, bad cop. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. So it's like 48 hours with a chainsaw. Um, but it's, it's the witty banter, and also Sam provides the opportunity for Ash not only to torment and punish him, is he can use him as a guinea pig. Of like, you go in there, you're already dead, get in there and check it out. So he's a very handy tool for the gamer. Because the solitary thing can get old after a while, because you got Ash walking around going, hmm, a box of shells, hmm. But at least now you can go, hey Sam, what is that? A box of shells, you idiot. See how useful that was? Uh, hours with a chainsaw, that's <laughs> okay, now, um, now we got to talk about the Evil at Four. Evil at Four. <clears throat> rumors. So a lot of rumors going around about uh, mm -hmm. the perspective for an Evil mm -hmm. Dead Four. Mm -hmm. Any truth? The truth to the rumor of Evil Dead Four. Well, the real trick there is to call Sam Raimi on the phone and convince him to do Evil Dead Four instead of Spider-Man Two. Hmm. Well, that's a tough one. Sam, I hope you'll be able to make the, that decision. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have a 
pivotal role in part two. Because in the first Spider-Man, as you recall, I named the character. Without my character in the movie, without the ring announcer, that movie would have been called The Human Spider. Let's just get it out there, okay? In part two, I can't tell you much for legal reasons. My character defeats Spider-Man. Sam, I didn't say any more. See? It's pretty good. He defeats Spider-Man. Wow. Part three, I become Spider-Man. Because <laughs> Toby ain't going to do it. <laughs> and the suit fits you. Uh, yeah. I've tried on the suit. It's, it's a little tight in the crotch, actually. But, you know, other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, you're on Freddy versus Jason versus... Oh, yeah. Jason. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> other rumors? Ultimate horror film? Freddy versus Jason versus Mrs. Ash? It's very important to cover all the rumors. And uh, the rumor of Jason versus Freddy versus Ash is a, currently a pretty hot one. That one's buzzing around the Internet. It's tearing it up on the Internet. And that rumor, I have to say, is <clears throat> partially true. But you got to look at it this way. There's three franchises. So you got three batches of lawyers going, <laughs> So right now they're sort of yelling at each other, going, No, we're, we're worth more. No, no, you suck. We're better. We're the better franchise. <laughs> so they're having franchise discussions about the size of their penises right now. But you don't have to use that. <laughs> so, uh, there. I guess I could just say this: they're in, they're in discussions right now. They're also trying to, you know, have peace in the Middle East too. <laughs> I don't know. That sums that one. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's great. <laughs> <laughs>